Mark Stoneman struck his second century of the season against Warwickshire as Surrey piled on the runs at Edgbaston on day two. Ian Westwood scored a superb 153 to restore some confidence in Warwickshire's batting lineup and put the hosts in a strong position at the end of day one at Edgbaston. Surrey had managed to take some late wickets though to keep themselves in the game and the visitors got off to a great start on day two as Footit produced a beautiful in-swinging delivery to dismiss Clark LBW for three in the second over of the morning. An over later, new batsman Patel was out for a duck after he chased a wide one from Sam Curran hitting the ball straight to the bowler's brother Tom on the offside. In came Wright but he was soon sent back to the pavilion as Sam Curran struck again, bowling the tail ender for four. As Hannon Dalby came to the crease, Warwickshire's innings was coming to a disappointing end. However, Barker managed to pick up boundaries and take the score to 332 before Surrey eventually took the final wicket. Tom Curran dismissing Hannon Dalby for nine, Stoneman taking the catch on the offside. A solid first inning score for Warwickshire, who earned their first three batting points of the season, thanks to a fine knock from Westwood. The Curran brothers took the majority of the wickets, Tom finishing with figures of four for 98 and Surrey came out to bat for the remainder of the morning session looking to get off to a positive start. Both opening batsmen gave Warwickshire chances early on though, Stoneman's lofty off drive finding the boundary, whilst Burns' outside edge off right went straight into the hands of Jonathan Trott and the opener was sent on his way for six. Borthwick joined Stoneman at the crease and the pair played some elegant strokes to take the score to 51 for one at lunch. After the break, both batsmen continued to effortlessly score boundaries and Stoneman cruised to his 50 off just 64 balls. The Surrey pair's partnership then surpassed 100 and as Borthwick brought up his half-century, Surrey were looking to be in a great position. Two balls later though, Clark got the important breakthrough as Borthwick edged behind ending his 116-run partnership with Stoneman, Trot once again taking the catch. That brought Sangakara to the crease, who batted beautifully from the outset, and the Sri Lankan hit two wonderful sixes, taking apart the Warwickshire attack. Stoneman continued to bat stylishly, but he was given a life when he was dropped on 83 off right. At the other end, Sangakara didn't let up, and the two batted through until T to take the score to 197 for two. After the final interval, the Surrey pair picked up where they'd left off and Sangakara soon brought up his 50. Stoneman then took a single off Patel to score his second century of the season and it looked as though the visitors were well set to surpass Warwickshire's first innings total. In the 71st over of the innings though, Barker finally got the breakthrough the host needed as he trapped Stoneman in front to send the opener on his way for a fine 123, ending his partnership of 140 with Sangakara. Sibley came out to the middle to see out the rest of the day and left the field with Sangakara unbeaten on 98. A great day in the end for Surrey who finished on 299 for three, trailing Warwickshire by just 33 runs. The visitors will return on day three looking to take a healthy first innings lead.